Gandhi class, welcome to your second maths lesson this week and our learning objective for today's lesson is can I interpret pictograms? So in today's lesson we will be recapping our learning from year two so that we are able to to explain what a pictogram is showing, to use the key to help understand the pictogram and to identify key information in a pictogram. But before we begin that, I want you to get your whiteboard and your whiteboard pen and answer these questions below. Once you've answered them, press play and we will go through the answers. So pause the video to do that now. Okay, so question number one. The question says, how many animals are there all together? So by that all together, we know that we are going to be adding them all together. So when you have a pictogram, the first thing you need to do is look at the key because the key gives you a lot of information that you need to know. And now because we're looking at all of the animals all together, we're going to be looking at each of these. So the first thing that we can do is look and count how many squares we've got. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So we've got ten squares all together um, if we add them all up. Now because each square is worth four, we're going to be doing ten times four, which gives us the answer of forty. So give yourself a tick if you got 40. You could also count up in fours each time as well, but it'd be easier to count how many squares you've got and then times it by what's here. Now the next question is what's 548 pence in pounds and pence? Now here you need to use your knowledge of knowing that one pound is the same as 100 pence which gives you the answer of five pounds and 48 pence. Give yourself a tick if you got that correct. Question number three, you need to find the product of 18 and four. Now this one might be a bit difficult if you don't know what we mean by product. What this question is asking you to do is 18 times four, which gives you 72. So well done if you got that correct. And the final question, what is 345 take away 100? The answer is 245. Well done, if you got that correct. Okay, let's move on to our questions. So, Jodie counted all the vehicles she saw on the way to school. She recorded her results in the pictogram below. Explain how to use the pictogram to find out which vehicle Jodie saw the most. Now, the most important thing that you should do when you look at a pictogram is look at the key. And this is because the key tells you how much each symbol is worth. So we know that every time we see this symbol here, it is worth five vehicles. Now what we need to do is find the vehicle she saw the most. So we're going to be looking for the one that has the most of these. Have a look here, which one has the most of these symbols? Pause the video to have a think. Well done if you said the car. So the way we use the pictogram to find out which vehicle Jodie saw the most is by looking at the key and then finding the one that has the most of these symbols. Okay, next question. Now we need to answer the questions about the pictogram. How many bicycles were seen? So let's get our highlighter. The important bits of information here are bicycles. So we're looking for how many bicycles. So let's have a look at our pictogram. We've got bicycle. We know, looking at our key, that each time we see that symbol, it means five. So what we're going to do is count how many symbols we've got and then times it by five, or we could count up in fives. So let's count up in fives. Five, 10, 15. That means she saw 15 
bicycles. And we only know that because we know what the key represents. Okay, let's have a go at the next question. How many more bicycles were seen than motorbikes? So what we need to do here is work out how many bicycles were seen, how many motorbikes were seen, and then find the difference. So we know that 15 bicycles were seen because we've already worked that out. And then we need to find out how many motorbikes were seen. One, two, but because each of these symbols is worth five, we've got five, 10. So 10 motorbikes, 15 uh, bicycles. We need to find the difference between these two numbers. So we can do 15 take away 10, which gives us five. So five more bicycles were seen than motorbikes. Okay, and the next one it says, four buses were seen. Do you agree? So let's have a look at where it says buses. We've got one, two, three, four symbols. So were four buses seen? Pause the video and have a think. No, well done, there weren't. Because we know that for every time we see this, it represents five. So really five, 10, 15, 20, 20 buses were seen. So we would write here, no, because 20 were seen um, and then you could relate it to the key here. Okay, let's have a look at this pictogram. So the pictogram shows how many cupcakes Mrs. White made each day for the school bake sale. Explain how to find how many cupcakes she made on Monday and Tuesday all together. Now with the pictogram, as we've said before, the first thing we need to look at is the key. So we know that every time we see that symbol of a cupcake, it represents two cupcakes. Now what we need to do is find how many there were on Monday and Tuesday all together. So because it says all together, it means we need to add together Mondays and Tuesdays. So let's have a look and see how many she made on Monday. So we know, as we said, with this key, that one cupcake represents, sorry, one of these symbols, one cupcake here represents two cupcakes. Now, if we look at Mondays, we've got this one here, it's half a cupcake. So what do you think half a cupcake may represent? Pause the video to have a think. Well done if you said one, because there are two cupcakes here. If we see half a cupcake, that means it's going to be half of whatever number is here. So half of this number is one. So now that we know that a whole cupcake is worth two and half a cupcake is worth one, we're going to add together what we have for Monday and Tuesday. So we've got two, all of these are worth two, and then this one here is worth one. So two, four, six, eight, nine. So nine on Monday. And then we're looking at Tuesdays as well. So we've got two, 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 and two, two, four, six, eight. Now, because it's all together on Monday and Tuesday, we need to add together nine and eight. So pause the video, what is nine add eight? Well done if you said 17. So the way to find out how many cupcakes you made on Monday and Tuesday is to look at that key, figure out what this represents and then add together Mondays and Tuesdays. Okay, let's have a look at these questions. So let's get the highlighter out. How many
many cupcakes were made and choose on Tuesday and Thursday all together. So we've got that all together again, which means we are going to be adding. Again, because this is a pictogram, the first thing we need to do is look at that key. We know that every time we see this picture here, it represents two. If we see half of it, it represents one. We're looking at Tuesdays and Thursdays. And because it's all together, we need to add them together. So let's have a look at Tuesday first. Again, we've got two, 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 and two. Two, four, six, eight. So we've got eight on Tuesday. And then we need to have a look at Thursdays as well. Two, two, which is four. Then we're going to do eight, add four, which equals what? Pause the video to have a think. Well done if you said 12. Okay, next question. So how many more cupcakes were made on Wednesday than Friday? What do you think we're going to need to do here? Pause the video to have a think. Well done. So we need to look at how many were made on Wednesday, how many were made on Friday, and then find the difference. So let's have a look at Wednesdays first. So we've got two, four, six, eight, 10, and 12. And we know that because each cupcake is worth two. And then on Friday, we've got two, four, six and a half cupcake, which means one. So it's seven. Now what we need to do is find the difference between 12 and seven. So we would do 12, take away seven, which equals what? Pause the video to have a think. <laughs> Well done if you said five. 12 take away seven is five. So that means five more cupcakes were made on Wednesday than Friday. And the very last question, which says, how many cupcakes were made in total? So by that in total, we need to add them all up. Now, thanks to the other questions, we have already worked out how many we made on Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday and Friday. So we need to have a look at Monday's one. So we've got two, four, six, eight, and then a one, which makes seven. So now what we need to do is add together all of these. So pause the video to add all of these together. Another way you could do it is by counting up how many cupcakes you've got and timesing it by two as well. So either add the totals here or count how many cupcakes you've got and times it by two. Pause the video to do that now. Okay, so if you're going to do the second option, I'll show you how to do that now. Because we've got a half here and a half here, we can pretend that that is one whole. So we'll leave those two until the end. So we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. And then because we've got two halves here, that makes 20. So then if we do 20 times two, that gives us, 40, well done. So 40 cupcakes were made in total. Okay, let's have a look at this question here. So the astronauts are discussing the pictogram. Um, are they, they're all correct. Can you prove that they are all correct? So let's have a look at the first astronaut. He says, 50 red and green jumpers were sold all together. How can we work out whether or not this is true? Pause the video to have a think.
Okay, so first thing we need to do is have a look at that key. That key tells us the information we need to know. We are looking at the red and the green jumpers. So red, we've got one, two, three tops here, which means that that is 10, 20, 30. And then we're looking at the green, which is here. We've got one, two, which means it's 10, 20. Now, because it's asking us how many were all together, what we need to do is add them up. So 30 add 20 equals 50. So this mastronaut is correct. Now let's have a look at what the second mastronaut is saying. Red jumpers sold plus blue jumpers sold equals the same amount of grey jumpers sold. Now, how can we prove that's correct? I want you just to have a little think and see what we could do to prove it. Okay, so we're looking at the red jumpers, we're looking at the blue jumpers, and then we need to look at the grey jumpers. Now what we're doing is we're adding together the amount of red and blue jumpers to see if it's the same amount as the grey jumpers sold. So let's have a look. Red, we know that there's 30 because we've already worked that out. And blue, 10, 20, 30, 40. That's 40 here. Now, all together, we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven pictures, seven symbols here. Let's have a look and see if the grey jumpers have seven symbols as well. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So they've got seven symbols too. Now, what we can do just to make sure that we are definitely correct is add up the red and the blue. So 10, 20, 30. 40, 50, 60, 70. So we've got red and blue. That is 70 jumpers sold. And then if we count up the grey, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70. And if we look at the grey, we've got 70, which means that this mastronaut is correct as well because you've got the same amount of symbols. And then if you use that key to convert to see how many jumpers actually were sold, it is the same as well. Okay, independent task, it is now your turn. Choose between activity one, activity two, and activity three. Make sure you're choosing the task that is appropriate for you. And then you can challenge yourself further with the challenge questions. So let's have a look at activity number one. Answer the questions about the pictogram. How many points is each symbol worth? And then the next question, how many team points did Willow get in total? Next question, how many team points did Elm and Chestnut get all together? Ooh, do you know what's happened there? All together, there we go. How many more points did Oak get than Elm? And then you've got a quote, 140 points were scored in total on sports day. Do you agree? Explain your reasoning. So what you need to make sure that you do, have a look at that key. It's really important that you are looking at that key. When you get to question E, where it says, do you agree? Explain your reasoning. You either say yes or no. And then you use the word because and give your reason why. Yes, because, no, because. If this is the question that you are going to choose, please can you pause the video here? Okay, activity number two. So I'll get the highlighter ready for you as well. There we go. Answer these questions using the pictogram. How many goals did the Eagles score? Number two, how many goals did the Cougars and Wildcats score all together? The next one, how many more goals did the Seahawks score 
than the Wildcats. So you're looking for the difference. How many go goals were scored in total? And what could the title of the pictogram be? What could this be about? Now, remember when you're answering these questions, you need to make sure that you are looking at that key because that key will help you a lot. Pause the video here if this is the question, the activity, sorry, that you are going to be completing. Okay, activity number three. So, answer these questions using the pictogram. The astronaut says 80 black jumpers were sold, 60 more black jumpers were sold than green. Do you agree? So you'd say yes or no, because. Use what we did um, a few slides ago to help you work this out. Next question, convince me that green jumpers were the least popular color of jumper. Next question, convince me that black and gray jumpers were the most popular colours of jumpers sold all together. Are these statements true or false? Explain your answers. So this is for the next questions here. So when you explain your answers, you need to say yes or no because. Um, I'll get my pen out. So are these statements true or false because? So you would say, sorry, true because or false because. So with these questions, I'm really looking for that because word. That is how you explain your answers. That's how you answer reasoning questions. So are these statements, statements true or false? Explain your answers. 24 jumpers were sold. 40 more black jumpers were sold than red. And the difference between blue jumpers sold and green jumpers sold was 20 jumpers. So you would say true or false because. So D, true or false because. E, true or false because. F, true or false because. And that's how you answer those questions there using the pictogram below here. Again, look at that key. That key is very important. Pause the video here if you are completing activity number three. Okay, and the final one, the challenge. So let me get my highlighter out to help you with this one. Ali is counting buttons. Red are the least popular, pink are the most popular. Is he correct? Explain why. So you would say, yes, he's correct because, or no, he's incorrect because. And then use this here to help you. Nine, uh, sorry, question eight here. Answer the following questions. You've got A, B, C here to answer using the pictogram to help you. Now this pictogram is a little bit different because you've got two keys. So for every brown circle here you see, it's worth 10 and for every silver, it's worth five. So which vehicle is the most popular? Which vehicle is the least popular? And how many cars were driving on the road? So answer those questions using this pictogram above here. Okay, and the next one. Has the pictogram been completed correctly? Explain why. So you would say yes or no, because. You've got your key here. Again, you've got two keys. So for every blue one you see, it's worth two. For every red one, it's worth 10. You've got the totals as well. And you need to explain if it's correct and why. Please make sure you upload your work to Tapestry Gandhi class and I will see you next time. Bye.